What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have your June 19th edition of Smackdown Live Review. <laughs> So tonight, SmackDown Live started off with the general manager, Paige, backstage, and you know, she said that we needed a number one contender for the WWE Championship after Shinsuke Nakamura has failed so many times. So tonight's main event is going to be a gauntlet match between Big E, Rusev, The Miz, Samoa Joe, and Daniel Bryan. The winner of this gauntlet match will go on to fight AJ Styles at Extreme Rules for the WWE Championship. Cut to the ring, and we have Carmella cutting a promo with her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Asuka's music would hit. She will walks down and reveals her mask and it turns out to be Ellsworth in her gear, robe, and mask. You know, he cuts a promo saying that Carmella is better than Trish Stratus, Lita, Charlotte, and every other woman on the WWE roster. Then Asuka would really show up. She would walk down to the ring and uh, as uh, Asuka smacks James Ellsworth in the face and this distracts Asuka, then Carmella kicks Asuka right in the face when she is not looking and Ellsworth and Carmella escape up the ramp. And, uh, yeah, so I guess this feud is going to continue, and we're going to get another rematch at Extreme Rules. Out comes Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, and I like them a lot, guys, but Jesus Christ, they are totally obnoxious. You know, they come out, they're kind of cringe, you know, when they come out and cut promos and stuff sometimes. It's just like, let them be natural, and I think they would be fine, but the stuff they give them to say is just ridiculous sometimes. But uh, they come out, they start trash-talking Becky Lynch. Out comes Becky Lynch, and we have a match between Billy Kay and Becky Lynch. Decent little fight. Uh, Becky win won the match with the... Uh, Disarmor, thank God. It was very nice. I am very glad that Becky Lynch won. And uh, I feel like Billy Kay is now like 0-7 in singles matches on the main roster, if I'm not mistaken. But Becky Lynch does pick up the dub. We cut to backstage, and we have Jeff Hardy in a dark room cutting a promo on Shinsuke Nakamura. And he says that uh, ever since Shinsuke, you know, hit him in the nads with that low blow, that he has awoken and that he is focused. And he turns around and reveals that he has face paint on, guys. He's actually wearing face paint. He had this white and black face paint. He had some uh, contact lenses in, and I feel like we are going to be getting the Charismatic Enigma, guys. We're going to be getting, you know, the No More Words theme song, and we're going to have a feud between Shinsuke and Jeff Hardy, and Jeff Hardy's going to go back to, you know, his 2009 run, and we're, we're going to have some good stuff, so great stuff to see Jeff Hardy, and, you know, it's, it's just a wonder to see. Cannot wait to see what he does going into Extreme Rules. Next way, the Usos come down to the ring for their match with the debut of Sanity, guys. Sanity Sanity did make their debut tonight. The Usos cut a promo before the matchup. Not much of a match at all. You know, Sanity would come out and just beat the crap out of the Usos. And the segment was pretty much over. But it's a joy to see that Sanity is actually on television. Maybe now we will get the Authors of Pain showing up on Monday Night Raw. But it is a joy to see, like I said, that Sanity finally did show up on SmackDown Live. Cut backstage and we have an interview with Shinsuke Nakamura. And he says that the reason he lost to AJ Styles is because the ref did not count to 10 in Japanese. And, you know, being real awkward like he is as a heel, I am enjoying it, though. And he does respond to Jeff Hardy's comments from earlier. He says that if Jeff Hardy crosses him again, that uh, he will pay. So I guess we are going to get a Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy feud. Next up, we had a SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship rematch between the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, taking on the Bludgeon Brothers. I do not know why we had a rematch right here. You know, the uh, club did lose at Money in the Bank, but this match was much better than their match at Money in the Bank. Not a squash at all. A solid little tag team matchup. I enjoyed this match definitely, again, better than Money in the Bank. Bludgeon Brothers would retain, and uh, while they were making their way down the ramp, Daniel Bryan would make his entrance, and they stopped and stared at each other for a little while. You know, Daniel Bryan making his way to the ring for the main event, the gauntlet match, to see who will face AJ Styles at Extreme Rules, but they did end up falling off, so uh, the Bludgeon Brothers did, in fact, disappear, and then we had Daniel Bryan and Big E, and this was a fun as crap match, guys. Big E is super underrated. He could easily make it as a single star. If they're giving him a singles push, I would totally agree with it, guys. He is a freaking amazing, and both of these guys were going back and forth. It was freaking amazing. Uh, Daniel Bryan did end up hitting the knee and eliminating Big E, so Big E was eliminated from the gauntlet matchup. Daniel Bryan's next opponent would be Samoa Joe coming down to the ring. They had some good back and forth stuff. Majority of the beginning was Samoa Joe beating the piss out of Daniel Bryan's chest. You know, he looked like the Royal Rumble. You know, just red marks and scratches and bruises all over his chest. Samoa Joe and him did have a nice little back and forth. I would love to see this at a pay-per-view or something like that where they don't hold anything back. But uh, Joe ended up getting eliminated. They fell to the outside. Joe locked in the clutch, and the ref was counting down, you know, uh, one, 
two, all the way up to ten. When he got to about seven, Daniel Bryan did a freaking flip off the barricade, escaped Joe's hold, and slid into the ring just under the ten count, and then he would count to ten, eliminating Samoa Joe, and Samoa Joe would be eliminated from the gauntlet match. Did not expect that at all, but it did happen. But at that same time, guys, the Bludgeon Brothers would show back up. They showed back up, and they did take out Daniel Bryan. You know, they pick him up, and they powerbomb the piss out of him. And then, what do you know? The Bludgeon Brothers disappear, and then you already know who showed up, guys. The arch nemesis of Daniel Bryan showed up, guys. We had The Miz coming there. The Miz came down, skull crushed the crap out of Daniel Bryan, hit him with a skull crushing finale. One, two, three, Daniel Bryan is eliminated. He picked him up and threw him out of the ring and started trashing the piss out of him, trash talking the crap out of him. So now we're down to the final two in this gauntlet matchup. Rusev and The Miz going one-on-one. -on -one. I actually enjoyed this. They went back and forth a lot. It was a lot of great chemistry between these two in the ring. They did some good, cool spots. Uh, the end of the match came when The Miz was looking to do, I think, uh, Daniel Bryan's finisher. You know, he started doing the yes chant. The crowd was chanting no, and he tried to run across the ring. He got Machka kicked, and then the accolade was locked in, and that was all she wrote. Miz taps out, and we have freaking happy Rusev. Day. Rusev is your number one contender for the WWE Championship. So we're going to be having AJ Styles and Rusev for the WWE Championship at Extreme Rules. This is the first ever one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Championship between uh, for Rusev in his entire career. So I'm very excited for this. I thought that tonight's episode of SmackDown was very nice, guys. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the gauntlet match was incredible. Everybody shined well in that matchup. You know, I don't think there was any filler bullshit garbage like Monday Night Raw, so I really enjoyed this. That's going to do it for your SmackDown Live review, guys. I really enjoyed SmackDown again, as I said, but that does it for the video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.